Maybe one of the worst sounds on a video I've ever made or watched is this. <laughs> Sorry. Three big bags of video games, about a half price, with a couple extras at the end because they're awesome. Yay! This is the Soft Attack O Winter Song. And I know it isn't very long. But I hope you enjoy his video. Now this song is done. All right, people, we're gonna start out strong. Strong like an athlete. This is Sega Sports Virtua Athlete 2K. Whoa. I don't believe I have this or didn't have it in my Sega Dreamcast collection, and it's a small collection, so, you know, it's nice to play a, a button mashing track and field game from time to time. And let's actually open this up and see if, <laughs> see if we got a spine card or not. I'm, I'm uh, <clears throat> filming at an odd angle because I'm a pro. That's, that's how we do. Uh, anyway, so what happened was I went to uh, Costco. You know, I've been to Costco when you come to my house and you see these things. Probably can't see it right now, though. Uh, man, they have the most amazing pizza. Not the pizza you eat in the food court, but the stuff that you take home and bake. The pancetta with mozzarella balls on it. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Anyway, so here we go. I don't uh, think I've ever played this. Let's see how the disc is. It's uh, not too shabby. All right, look at that. I can't remember who's who. I feel like this came out around the time of Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson. Is that Carl? I don't know who these people are, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. But it looks like we didn't get a spine card, and I'm not gonna cry about that. I paid less than a dollar, I believe, for this game. <laughs> right, so I was telling the story. After Costco, uh, I decided to just wander around a bit, because I'm on summer vacation, it's so dang hot, but since I was already out of the house, I decided to uh, look around, and I went to a used book and game store, and they were having half off sale for everything under 980 yen, so basically, Everything under like nine dollars and something was half off, so I spent way too much money. Not despite the fact that it was all cheap, but because <laughs> because of it. Um, so this I think is the only Dreamcast game I got, and I, I spent a lot of money, got a bunch of other stuff. Next up is a pile of eighteen PS4 games, and uh, I'm gonna show them to you. These I paid I think a total of about fifty bucks for the stack, uh, maybe sixty. And let's see what there is. Start out with this. This is Blade Arcus. I'm not gonna open them up because I'm lazy and it takes too much time. And uh, I, I believe I saw somewhere that this is actually a pretty dang decent fighter. And uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm planning after this video to just go through all these, or most of them, many of <laughs> these PS4 games and see how they are. Man, that reflection is it's very reflective. Let me adjust the lighting. New Gundam Breaker, Breaker. New Gundam Breaker. This could be fun. Now, I think a few of these PS4 games will have the option to play in English, but I don't know yet because I haven't put them in. One moment, please. All right, it seems like the reflection will be less shocking. So this one I downloaded, um, I don't know, a while back because I wanted the Call of Duty 4 Remaster, Call of Duty, yeah. And then that finally came out physically, at least in Japan, and I'd like to get that at some point, but that game is harder than I remember it. Anyway, I wanted to have this physical, and I'm pretty sure this won't play in English, but I'm okay with it because it was like $2, so yay. This game I feel like I remember reading about, uh, but I don't remember <laughs> what I read. So again, I'm happy to try it out. Basically, almost any PS4 game at this point. For two bucks, I'm happy to give it a try. And it may be that the Japanese is more than I want to mess with, but maybe someday my daughter will want to mess with it, or you know, somebody else beats me. Um, but it's fun to have games like this that I, I wouldn't otherwise buy. Uh, to, not to fill out the shelf, because the shelf is already overflowing. This is um, Hakoniwa Kampani Wakusu. I have no idea what this is, but it looks kind of neat, the art style. 
and uh, it says SRPG, so strategy, I guess, is what the S is. This also said something about RPG. This is action RPG. So I don't know, but there's always a chance, I mean, a chance, it's conceivable, that these will have, I guess I can leave them out there for more visual stimulation. Uh, except it's shiny, oh, mm, that they'll be playable in English, right? This one won't matter if there's English or not, I don't reckon, it's a snowboarding game. And again, I think a lot of these games, I mean, some of them, there are just so many, they're not worth anything like Call of Duty games. Um, but I feel like a lot of them didn't get very good ratings or didn't just do well. But they're still not necessarily bad games, you know? They're just cheap. This, I'm sure, is not a bad game. Guilty Gear is a great series. Yeah, so like I said, two, three, four dollars for these each. Good stuff. Yay. Ah, all right, next. I don't, uh, just make a big old pile. And remember much about this? And I don't even know if this is a game. Yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna try it and find out. It may be that some of these are really meant to be played online. And the thing is, so many games that I play, I play for one or two or three hours and I'm like, yep, yeah, done. Not because I didn't enjoy it, just because I don't have much time. So this one just, everyone was so mad about when it came out. But for $2, you know, I'll pop it in and play some of that. We'll see if it even has anything left over. You know, plus when you're talking about these games, it's nice to have experienced them. So I really enjoy <laughs> playing a bad game for a while. Not that this is one, I enjoyed this game a lot. For this game, I bought it on the PS3, but then it said that you could also play it the PS4 version. So you put the PS3 disc in the PS4 and it let you play it. I thought that was really neat. But the way that it was worded, it sounded like when you bought that, you got the digital version of the PS4 one and you could just play it, but you could only play it, it turned out, if you put the disc in, so. Yeah, I got some Call of Duty games. <laughs> Duty. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to popping this one in. It's interesting, it came out of Japan, so I don't know if it focuses mostly on the European campaigns or what, but. Um, yeah, World at War. I think it didn't come out in Japan because there was, it didn't paint the Japanese necessarily in the most uh, hey, complimentary light, I suppose. I don't know anything about that. I haven't played it yet. And I actually haven't played this one yet either. So, cool. Persona 3, this is Dancing Moon Night. And it's a rhythm game and it, it has VR support. And I think there was one VR game I'm realizing now that I left behind, but I think it might have been more than 980 yen, so I'm not sure. Anyway, that'll be interesting to try out. My VR is neglected, mostly because it makes my head hot, and it is a pain to get everything out. Unfortunately, my VR doesn't allow HDR pass-through, so it's kind of frustrating. I don't like messing around with switching everything back and forth. So at the moment, I just have it hooked up so I can use it, and um, I don't know if I would notice that much, the difference. I know that it's better when you have HDR, but <sighs> I don't know. My eyes aren't, eyes aren't that sensitive, although I am becoming more sensitive to frame rate, unfortunately. So Idol Master is a weird one because sometimes the rhythm games are actually kind of fun, but all the like character development and the conversations and stuff, it's not necessarily that interesting to me. But again, I have a friend who really likes Idol Master, so I think he would enjoy this if he ever comes over to play. But again, for $2. Here we have Naruto to Boruto, Shinobi Striker, and I don't know. However, I love the art style and it looks fun. And there are a lot of Naruto games that are pretty decent. And I think they quite often become cheap. So here's another one. When it was first announced, I was all excited about it. But then when they talked about how, how it was really meant to be played online and blah, blah, it's like, ugh. However, now I can try it for two bucks, so, or three, I guess that one, maybe four even. Another one, one of my, um, one of my friends bought this for full price, he was all excited about it, and then he was just disappointed, so disappointed. But, uh, it came down in price fast, I think this was a two dollar one, <laughs> two fifty, something like that. <clears throat> this is one, I actually do enjoy playing soccer games occasionally, and I'm not up to date on who the players are and stuff like that, so it doesn't matter to me that much if it's new. But this has uh, the UEFA, and one of my friends likes to play the UEFA Cup, so this will allow him to do that. Well, maybe. 
I don't know. Oh, look at that, we're already on the last one. And I have this already, but I don't have this version. And since it was $2, I decided to grab it. It has a bunch of extra stuff on it, but I don't know if it's actually on the disc. It might've just been download codes, in which case it's just for the cover. But uh, I do, there is value in having multiples of some games because there are PS4s in multiple locations, right? So anyway, yay, 18 PS4 games. Woo! The whole, the whole screen there. Right, and I think I'll just leave it like that <laughs> while I get out some more gameage. Um, yay. So, oh, so much table, visible, unacceptable. What's going on here? There we go, that's better. Uh, let's see what's next. All right, next we have some retro goodness. Um, I was looking at just the box games, but as you'll see, I, I ended up buying a whole bunch of loose carts, but these are box games. Uh, Super Famicom, this is, there's not really any English on here, so I can't soundtrack, if I remember correctly. And I do enjoy retro racing games, I feel like they age better than a lot of genres. Of course, the best, the, the games that age the best, right, are shoot 'em ups and RPGs, I think. Uh, any kind of like slow paced RPG sort of game. Um, maybe maybe 2D platformers, but so many of the 3D style games and even, I don't know, just racing games, they, they kind of look bad, but they're still fun to play. Maybe they don't age that well, actually. <laughs> I don't know. This is Nichibutsu Arcade Krashikusu. And I already had this, but for $4 or $3 or whatever it was, I decided to grab another one, because mainly because it has Mooncresta on it. But Frisky Tom and Crazy Climber, hey, they, uh, they're not bad. So, cool, a couple boxed Super Famicom games. Next we have two Sega Mega Drive games. The first, um, it was uh, 880 yen, but then it was marked down 100 yen because the manual had some damage, so we will see together how bad that damage was. This is Super Hang On. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's definitely a manual that's seen better days. But, or what was it? Three dollars and fifty cents, basically. And the cart's in good, sh mm, decent shape. Yeah. Let's have a look at the manual since we're talking about it. Full color. Just needs to be, you know. I don't know. It's uh, looks like it got wet at some point, but I'd rather have a munted manual than no manual at all. You could take that to the bank. So, yay, super hang on. And then the other, eh. Uh, Mega Drive game. They had I had the loose card of this in my basket because it was like a dollar fifty or something. I don't know, a dollar maybe. But then I found the the Nanda <laughs> this, and I decided just to get the one. I thought about getting both so I could put the best cart in here and you know put the other one somewhere else. But I took a chance and it paid off because this cartridge. I don't know if this has ever been out of the case. Like it's in super minty condition. Uh, I say that, but I think this is like a little damage just from opening and closing the case, I'm not really sure. But this manual is super fat. Look at that. How awesome would it be if you still got manuals like this when you pay $50 for a game? You know, I, that's, I don't know how many times I've said it, but I'll keep saying it. I'm gonna fix that later because I don't want to munt the manual any further. Yeah. Okay, next is a, looks well, one, two, three, four, five N64 box games. Now, they had a Mario Kart 64 complete in box that had three copies, and they were 980 yen, so marked down, they ended up being like $4.50. And I was tempted just to buy them all because it's one of my favorite games of all time because of nostalgia and gameplay. But I put them all back because I'm a good boy or whatever. This is an N64 game that I don't think I had and I had always wanted but it always was too expensive. But on this particular day, it was $4.50. And this is, sorry, Choro Q 64. It's a racing game. And I think it's meant to be fairly decent, but we shall see. All right. This one is Super Robot Spirits, and it's a, a robot fighting game. Some of these, if not all of them, I already have. I can't remember, you know what I mean? Um, but for the price, Complete in box, it's just nice, and if I have them here, I can put them on the shelf elsewhere, or, you know, 
trade him or sell him, who knows. I just was excited to find him and I hadn't really gone game hunting for such a long time. It was neat to, uh, to do that. Okay, this is cool. It has some kind of a Game Boy Pocket. Uh, oh, it's, okay, so they had a thing where you did a time trial and I guess if you had the best time, you could get a Game Boy Pocket. Pretty sure that campaign is over by now. But yeah, anyway, it's a multi-racing championship. Okay. Next is City Tour Grand Prix. Even the box art makes me think this is not a good game. Right, but... I'm telling you, I like to play bad games sometimes, and sometimes they surprise you. And this is Super Speed Race 64. The whoa! Camera falling. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, with a Lamborghini on the front. When I was in junior high school, I was obsessed with Lamborghinis. I thought they were the greatest thing. There's a guy, a guy, could be a gal, I don't know, a person, or maybe something else. Not a, not a person, but another, you know what I mean? Just, who cares? A, a person, a per person, a human, a... <laughs> I don't even know, an individual, I think that one works. An individual with a Lamborghini a couple streets over. And I mean, it's neat to look at it, but I wouldn't want to pay for the insurance or the gas, you know, let alone obviously the price of the car, but that's one of the reasons I got rid of my Rolex was because you have to pay 500 bucks every two years, two years, I don't know, every five years to have the maintenance done. And I was just like, why would I want to leave this to somebody as an heirloom when it's just like, here, no, you have to pay $500 or it'll be more than every two years, five years, sorry, to uh, do maintenance. So uh, I just got rid of it. So more stuff. I think next we'll do Xbox and Xbox 360 stuff. All right. I think this is the only Xbox, original Xbox game I bought. And, and again, I might have it. I don't know. But it was 180 yen before the, <laughs> the half off. So, and there are a number of them that are like that. I think that's what I paid for. Well, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so I don't remember. I don't remember anything about this game. If I ever knew anything about it. I have a number of these games on the PS3, but I don't know about the 360. So it's neat to get one on the 360. I think my dad would have enjoyed that. He liked driving around in circles. He had a game like that for the Wii. Okay, so this was legitimately less than a dollar. And it's the uh, Steel Box Collector's Edition or Biohazard 5, which, I mean, I feel like if you aren't a big Resident Evil fan, which I'm, I'm just okay, you know? You just enjoy the game for what it is. I think it's probably a pretty good game. But this is cool because it's got a big old steel book and a soundtrack. Uh, I'm not going to open it up because I like this plastic cover on it until I take it out to play it. It's staying like that. But yeah, it was 180 yen uh, before the discount. So nice. Oh, and this one, same thing. I think the same price. I can't remember for sure. It might have been a little bit more actually. But they just made way too many versions of Street Fighter 4, and that's irritating. I think they ended up with four. There's Street Fighter 4, and then like Super Street Fighter 4, and something else Street Fighter 4, and Arcade, and it's like maybe just the three. I don't know. But I just, I got to a point where, or I am at a point, I don't care. I like these collector's editions. Again, this one you have a steelbook and a soundtrack, as with the other. And stupid Capcom, right? But it's interesting, in Japan, you sometimes will find these bigger boxes cheaper than just a single game because, I don't know, I guess it's because people don't want to take up all the space. I'm not sure, but I might already have this one. I'm not sure, but I think that I've passed on this one a whole bunch of times, and then this time it was like 90 cents. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it, I couldn't do it. Had to have it, had to have it. All right, next up is a bunch of loose cars, and there's some good ones. And then last, I'll show you the... Kind of the main things that I was going to buy before I realized everything was half off. Okay, next is a batch of uh, Super Famicom loose carts, and I have so many Super Famicom loose carts, and they're hard to display, and you know, they don't even, you'll see if you don't know, but I just don't look for them, but on this day, I'm, I, I bought a few. So, <laughs> um, yeah, the reason I, I don't like them because they are... They don't have labels on the spine, so when you stack them on the shelf, they look like that. But also, you can't really stack them because they're not flat. So, I bought two of these, and I don't really know why. This is the Super Mario Collection. Like, yeah, it's awesome. And I think I paid $4.50 or whatever, but I don't know why I bought two. 
but I did. And I almost was able to get one complete in box because it had like a damage manual, but it was just a little bit more than the 980 yen cutoff. And I'm starting to regret not buying those Mario Kart CIB because they would have been great for sending people. Ah, oh, but you know, space. Anyway, so the next two games uh, are Bomberman games. And the Western releases one only the original and Super Bomberman 2, but in Japan we got 3, 4, and 5 as well. And I mean, I don't think that there are huge differences, but it's such a great game, especially if you can get, you know, some people sitting around the TV, couch, whatever, and, uh, and playing. Love it. Um, great memories in high school playing Bomberman on the Turbo Graphics with four people. So good stuff there. It wasn't my Turbo Graphics, but yeah. Okay, next, let's see here. Well, I thought this was pretty good for $4. What do you think? I'm not a huge uh, Mega Man fan, but I do like it. I'm just really bad at it. And I'm not willing to put in the time to get good at it. I <laughs> don't know if I can get good. Now, I was going for the trilogy of these, and I got the first and the second, but the third one was just a little bit more than 980 yen, so I couldn't get the 50% off, and I left it there. But this one came with a nice little wrapper, so cool. And uh, I tried to... Oh, man! That's a bummer. I'm just now noticing that there's damage on the... The label. So that sucks because they had I think one more of these and there was damage on the back but if I'd noticed this I think maybe the price tag was covering it that's pretty not cool. Well anyway it was four dollars but that's disappointing. Ah, uh, <laughs> Here we go. This is Hoshino Kabi Super Deluxe and it's also blurry. Yay. Okay, here is, I believe this is a, this is Draken, and it's a, I think it's a first person shooter on the Super Famicom. And then, hello, Pac-Man. <laughs> hello, Pac-Man. Yeah, hello. All right, so there you go. There's some Super Famicom goodness. Cheapest chips. Next up is, I believe, pretty much all portable stuff, and then the main event. Wow, it took a lot, of, a lot of time to get all of these portable games out of their little baggies, but here we go. Lots of Game Boy Advance stuff, and uh, my Game Boy Advance collection is, you know, not bad, uh, but it's, it just got a lot bigger. I have a lot of um, Game Boy games, but I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it. <laughs> Actually, speaking of Game Boy games, I'll do those first. A few for the original Game Boy, uh, a banger, a maybe banger, and I don't know. So in reverse order, kind of. <laughs> here is uh, just get squared away here. Tiny Toon Adventures. And I think this is a platformer, and I think it might be decent, but I don't know, right? Uh, they were just so cheap. Okay, and Bomberman Game Boy Two, Bomberman GB Two, which I have complete in a little like I don't know, band aid box kind of thing, one of those metal boxes. Um, but I don't know if I had it loose, and it's nice to have Game Boy games loose. This is Twin Bida, which is a banger. It's a banger. My cat wants in. Next is a game, which I think I still have my original American uh, version, Wario Land 2. Uh, can be played on either the original Game Boy or Color. I think that's the case with all these black cartridges, and that's, that's for you to know. Okay. And, yay! Wario Land 3! <laughs> it's me, Wario! No, that's not what he says. He says, I'm not gonna win! <laughs> Ow, my throat. Next is Chichai Adium. And I can't remember anything about this. I think I bought this actually a few years ago, just on a whim, just as I kind of did this time. But look at this. This is poor. Like, don't do that. These batteries corrode and ruin stuff. And, uh, I mean, if it works, cool, and it looks like it's still all right. Let's get the, the, and the expiration date on this battery. Usually they have it right on there. Let me get it out and have a look. Because you want to know. You want to know. I'm not getting any powder on my hands, so that's good. This expired in 2011, August. So this battery is like 10 years old. Ah, oh, come on, game store people. Don't do this to me. I'm getting rid of that battery. Very fortunate that it's not like leaking or wasn't leaking all over the inside. Oh, you're looking at a blurry mess. Ah, blurry mess. I'm trying to get this stupid lid back on. Okay, so I'm sorry I can't remember anything about this game. 
Yeah. Well, later. I'll fix it later. Anyway, next is... Okay, we'll change it up and then we'll come back to the Game Boy Advance. This one, obviously I already have it, but this card is in excellent condition and I couldn't pass it up for $4 or $4.50 or whatever. Uh, R-Type for the PC Engine. And I do have a small loose cart collection or loose card collection for the PC Engine. It's fun to just shuffle through them and pop them in. I enjoy that a lot. So, yeah, one of the best on the system. And then this is a random one. This is for the Wonder Swan, and I don't know anything about this game. I actually bought it, one, because it was cheap, but also because I wanted this little case. So I think I have a Wonder Swan game that I actually care about that I can put in that case. I think it's like a... I don't remember. Maybe Rockman and Forte or uh, 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 like a uh, Ghouls and Ghosts. I can't even remember what game it is, but I remember having a loose one without a case. Okay, next is a pile. It looks like, I don't know, 30 or so, 35. I, don't know, I can't count. Game Boy Advance games. So I'll start with this one. I don't know why I bought this other than just I don't see it ever. And I thought, well, that's kind of neat. And uh, so it means I probably didn't have it also since I don't remember seeing it really. And now I have it, so yay! This one, there's an interesting story with this one. This is Rhythm Tengoku, Rhythm Heaven, right? Many years ago, right after the DS came out, I think I was at Summer Sonic, which is a Japanese rock festival, and I saw some really big acts there. Like, who did I see? Santana, and I can't even remember now, but maybe Ben Folds was there. Eh. I met one of the main guys behind this game and I was surprised when he told me that it came, was coming out for the Game Boy Advance because I think this is a, a really late release on the system if I remember correctly. So, Okay, here we go. Disney Sports Soccer. I just think it's funny that I enjoy soccer games now because I hated them for the longest time despite loving the game itself. This one is a Sega game and I don't know, I want to say it might be related somehow or a spin-off or whatever, part of the Shining series, but another one that I don't really see often, or maybe I just didn't notice, but because it was so cheap I decided to grab it. Okay, these, I actually, I'm kind of going for a complete collection of these in box, these little red ones which are Famicom games ported to the Game Boy Advance, but I'm lazy and disorganized, so I haven't like even made a list of which ones I still need. But because these are all cheap, I just grabbed them. So Bomberman, this is, they all look like this. You know, the colors of the Famicom, right? And Super Mario Brothers. This one was neat because there was one that was 980 or something, and then this one is at 380, so I don't know what was going on there, but I, I went with the cheaper one. And then the original Mario Brothers which is kind of a funny one to have because these both have Mario Brothers or a version of it uh, on them. Uh, so this is Super Mario Advance 2, which is Super Mario World from the Super Famicom ported over for the Game Boy Advance. And this is Super Mario Brothers 3 from the Famicom ported over to the Game Boy Advance. It's, it's very, uh, yeah, confusing. But this one I just downloaded on the Wii U while I still can because it, that version includes the, uh, the extra levels that they had here in Japan. So I don't know if they did that in the US and other places with the, the cards that you could slide or whatever, but so those are kind of cool. And then again, I don't know if I did it on purpose, but I ended up getting two of those. I honestly don't remember. I do know for a fact that I didn't do this on purpose, but it happened. So yeah, wasted $2 on, I mean, I don't waste $2, but $2 I spent that I didn't need to spend, I guess. I didn't spend it, any of this money, really. Duh. Stating the obvious. Okay, speaking of the obvious, this Mario Golf Game Boy Advance Tour came with this, and it was still only like $2. And I don't even remember why. I don't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it, I mean, I guess it's because of that game decided it was really important for you. It's the wireless adapter to be able to play with other people. I don't think I ever used the wireless adapter on the um, Game Boy Advance. Would have been cool to do that with Tetris. I definitely did it with the DS a ton. Oh my head, the DS, because you could play with just one card, game card, I played so much Mario Kart and so much Tetris. And also the, the Metroid Pinball game, so much uh, with that functionality, really cool. Another funny story, <laughs> I guess it's funny. This is Sonic Advance, that's not the funny story. 
um, about me and DS's. I had a few girlfriends before I found my wife, and this is Mawaru uh, Meidoe Wario. Great game, and it includes like the gyrometer thingy, so you shove it in there and then you play like this. Not every game, but some of them. Pretty cool stuff. And I like that it's loose because then I don't have to get it out of the box and blah blah blah. So what's my story? <laughs> my story is, here's some more Rockman Zero, Rockman Zero, three um, games. I had three girlfriends over the course of a few years, all during the time that the DS was popular and the DS Lite. And I, I don't know, because of who I am, I always ended up giving them as gifts a DS or a DS Lite. Actually, I'm trying to remember. The first one I gave her a white DS Lite and she never, she, yeah. And then she, you know, disappeared basically. Sorry, this is Mario Tennis. Yay. I think that one's a really good game. Uh, I had a friend a long time ago who was like, you know what? Screw this DS stuff. I'm going to stick with the Game Boy Advance. I like Mario Tennis. This is the Pac-Man collection. I'm looking forward to sticking that one and see what else, what else on there. Cat's getting into the plastic bag, so I'm pausing. I'll come back to the story. Though. So anyway, and then another girl that I was dating, she... Okay, so the first one, I think she ended up moving to Australia from Japan. All Japanese girls, <laughs> you know, taking that DS with her. And also she stole my game, my, my Wario game. So... <laughs> Uh, what else? Um, another girl I gave one, and she's, uh, that's what made me remember is I used to play wirelessly with her on the train, and I gave her a, a DS and Tetris as a gift, and she went to Australia, and yeah. <laughs> and we never really broke up or whatever, just, to, you know, um, time and stuff. These are Crash Bandicoot games. This is like, it's hard to see because the writing's so small. Like, it's super small. I'll hold it up really close. Almost can see it easier that way. So I got that one, which is... I don't know, looks like it's a racing game. I can't even read it, it's too small. And then this is another Crash game and it's kind of blurry. Whatever, it's Crash, so we'll see. Was I on about then? Yeah, no, just timing and whatever. And I'm a fool, who knows? But anyway, so she ended up with a DS. And then another girl that we were we were pretty serious. I went to a whole lot of trouble to get her a DS, and for it was for Valentine's Day, and so I went through this whole surprise thing. Like I gave her a, a game, or like it was a, to study English or whatever. And she's like, "Oh, but I don't have one." And I acted like I thought she did, and I was so sorry. I gave her a dumb present. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, anyway, here's this. And then she opened it. it was a brand new, you know, DS Lite. And then she moved to Australia. <laughs> I mean, later we broke up, and she moved to Australia and got married. And, Anyway, so yeah, did I even tell you what I was just showing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so this is Cars, right? And then this is a really good game, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Excellent game, I recommend that. And then here's F-Zero, uh, Falcon Densetsu, The Legend of Falcon. And this is Hoshino Kabi, again, it's too small. Anyway, something Legend of Kirby on the Game Boy Advance. Got some real good Game Boy, really good Game Boy Advance games. And then some more Donkey Kong goodness. I just love the, the way that the sticker on this looks just like the Super Famicom art. So that's neat. And plus it's just such a great game. The music and just everything about it. Great memories playing that in college with my friend who actually passed away a couple of years ago, shockingly. And he was, you know, really young. So, you know, don't take, don't take life for granted. Every day is a gift. So you just never know what you're gonna get when you watch one of my videos. And this, speaking of which, I don't know what this is. This is Rockman Exe Battle Chip GP Grand Prix. I have no idea. It was a, like 90 cents, so yay. And then that's kind of anticlimactic, but I have one game that I paid a bit more for and then something else. It's hardware. Okay, down to the last two things. I bought 79 items, 78 of them games. So this is Namco Museum for the Game Boy Advance. And again, I don't know, I might already have this, but I don't care because it's awesome. And as you can see, it includes Galaxian, Dig Dug, Ms. Pac-Man, Pole Position, and Galaga. Awesome. Nice thing about the Japanese, I don't remember about the other territories, but the Japanese Game Boy Advance game boxes, though there's a locking flap, which is a pain in the butt on this side, on this side, you just very carefully open it, it doesn't lock, so it's easier to open it without damaging the flap. So always, I open it on that side, and I'll even take this one out. Look, it looks like it has all the extra stuff in it too, so that's neat. Look at that. Woo-hoo! There's the 
cartridge. It doesn't have a little plastic baggie that it originally came in, but I will forgive them. And then a nice manual. These kind of uh, compilations of smaller games are so good uh, for something like the Game Boy Advance. Uh, so yeah. Okay, and I'll set that aside and then, you know, very gently put it away later. And then I will prepare the final item. Okay, leading up to this, right? I paid $42.73 for this. And it's um, something that I don't know if I've seen often, maybe once in the, in the wild. Uh, but these are expensive. If you look on eBay, they're like 150 bucks or around there. And this one's in quite good condition. I'm just checking it out after getting it out of the plastic. This is by far the most expensive thing I bought yesterday, and I even had second thoughts about it, but then a few minutes ago checking the, uh, the eBay prices, I decided that I made a good decision, because this is, an, like I said, really nice, uh, nice nick! And this is... Fighting Stick Hori, Fighting Stick EX for the original Xbox, and that's significant because I may or may not have an original Xbox, Mr. Dude, that can play arcade games and etc. So, it's nice to have a good arcade stick with which to do that, and in the past I've used an adapter and played with PlayStation 2 arcade sticks, but there's lag that is introduced because of that, and uh, this will not have that problem, and it's so nice, and it's got the same, like, ridgy design as the Xbox, and oh, I'm excited to use this, yay. And the, everything, it looks really, you know, shiny and minty, so. Ooh, I'm sure this is a super long video. So I got to the end of the day, the, the shopping. I spent a lot of time there. And uh, when I saw the final damage, which was, you know, significant, despite the fact that there's a ton of $3 games. I mean, that still adds up uh, or less, right? And I was like, okay, really that much? So I, I went back and I did all the, I did it on my calculator because I have had this with this exact store issues with them charging me the wrong amount. And I went through it, and yep, it really was that much, and it was a lot. But hey, happy birthday to me! Woo -hoo. Thank you for watching. Um, hope it wasn't too boring. I actually am planning to. Uh, I think I'm going to play some of these PlayStation 4 games right now. So hopefully, I can enjoy some of my summer vacation. Going outside is not my favorite way to do it. It's too dang hot in Japan, or at least where I am. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye. Oh, and you know, feel free to leave stuff in the comments about why this, especially the Game Boy Advance games. I don't. For whatever reason, I don't know that much about the Game Boy Advance. I think I sort of skipped that generation to a large degree because I was, you know, busy trying to learn Japanese and stuff, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, say, say stuff in the comments about how ignorant I am. Bye.